Us. Joining us now to discuss Illinois Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth. Uh, Senator, thanks for joining us. So your colleague Rand Paul forced this vote today questioning the constitutionality of this trial. His motion died. You voted to kill it. Uh, explain why you think this trial is constitutional. Well, if you look to our history, uh, Jake, uh, every official who has been barred from holding future office uh, uh, was out of office. And so we have uh, historical precedents that shows that it is constitutional to um, have uh, a trial that will bar somebody from holding office in the future, because we've done it in our nation's past. So it's clear um, that it is constitutional. Rand Paul says that this vote suggests that impeachment is dead on arrival. Um, I mean, mathematically, that seems correct, don't you think? Well, it looks that way, but I will tell you that we have not yet you know, looked at the evidence. I mean, we all lived through it. I'm sitting here in, my, in one of my offices here. I still have plywood on uh, the window. That, there used to be a window there. I still have broken glass on my floor. My door behind me uh, still has marks from where they were trying to batter it down um, with whatever device they use as a battering ram. Um, this is all very fresh, and we cannot cannot allow any official, whether it's Donald Trump or someone else, uh, to not be held accountable for their actions. Um, you know, when that action is inciting a violent insurrection that has left at least five people dead that we know of. So we must move forward with this. We've heard people like Mitch McConnell, the Senate Minority Leader, uh, say that he holds President Trump responsible uh, for what happened. But some of your colleagues are saying. Uh, that he can't be held responsible for inciting the riot. Take a listen to something else that Senator Rand Paul said on the Senate floor today. We're not going down the road that Democrats have decided, this low road of impeaching people for political speech. I want the Democrats to raise their hands if they have ever given a speech that says, take back, fight for your country. Who hasn't used the words fight figuratively? What's your response? Um, you know, listen, he knows he's wrong. And, 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 and stop covering for Donald Trump. We all saw with our own eyes, we heard with our own ears, uh, President Trump and what he did to incite the violence. Then we also heard from all of the people in the riots who, who spoke up and said that they were doing this because President Trump told them to do so. That's why you have a trial. You present the evidence and then you make a decision based on that. If uh, Rand Paul wants to uh, be uh, President Trump's uh, lawyer, then he more than welcome to go do that. But frankly, I think the American people deserve to see the evidence uh, presented to them that this president did indeed incite violence, did indeed in incite insurrection against our nation's capital. President Biden tells CNN that the impeachment trial must happen. But Biden says he does not think 17 Republican senators will ultimately vote to convict Trump. Uh, as time passes, uh, do you think it's even going to be harder to change minds? It seemed as though early on there might have been some willingness of Republicans uh, to listen to the evidence, but you only got five today, Collins, Murkowski, Romney, Toomey, and Sass. Yeah, I think this is where showing the evidence and replaying uh, video footage from that day, replaying the audio from that day so that the American people, uh, so that my colleagues on the other side of the aisle can see and hear all of the evidence again, uh, is really important. That's why it is so important to move forward with the impeachment trial, so we can actually review all of the all of the evidence that there is. House impeachment managers uh, say they're still considering whether or not to use witnesses to try their case. But you know, the senators themselves all saw what happened. Many of them saw it from inside the Capitol, and many of them still will not blame. Trump, um, do you think more witnesses, uh, more evidence would change minds or are people's minds just locked down at this point? Well, if their minds are locked down, then the American people need, deserve to see that uh, they have elected senators on that side of the aisle who refuse to look at the evidence, um, uh, who are so in uh, uh, former President Trump's uh, uh, camp that they're not even willing to do their constitutional duty. And it's shameful. Um, as I said, I am sitting in an office where there is still broken glass on the floor, where there is still uh, a plywood boarded up, uh, boarded up my, boarded my window up right here, uh, where my door uh, has marks from a battering ram of some sort that they use to try to force that door open. Um, I can show them the evidence myself. Uh, I'm happy to show it to my colleagues, but first they need to listen to the evidence and not close their minds to it. Uh, the House impeachment managers are also weighing uh, if and how to incorporate video into their case. Sources tell us that the impeachment managers are thinking about using uh, some of this footage gathered um, by just security. Take a listen. Yeah. 
Yes. Invade the Capitol building. Let's take the Capitol. Take the Capitol. Take the Capitol. Take the Capitol. Take the Capitol right now. Just to be clear, because uh, I don't know if you even saw that as opposed to just heard it, you hear President Trump in that clip saying, you'll never take back our country with weakness, you have to show strength. And then you hear people in the crowd saying, invade the Capitol building, take the Capitol, take it, take the Capitol, take the Capitol uh, right now. What's your response? Well, my response is you take that video and then you take uh, and then you look into the fact that the president did not try to stop or tell the in insurrectionists to cease their attack on the Capitol until well after the attack was well underway and even then was a half-hearted statement. It's clear that the insurrectionists were doing exactly what the president wanted. He wasn't, I mean, once he saw what was happening, he still didn't come out and ask them to stop and go home, not for a long time. And even then it was a half-hearted attempt. Um, so it's very clear that they were carrying out exactly his wishes. Thank you so much, uh, Senator Tammy Duckworth, Democrat of Illinois. Always good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.